All right, guys, how's it going? My name is Mr. Boss for the win, and this is some of the newest campaign gameplay footage from Call of Duty Ghost that was revealed on an IGN stream later today. And uh, I feel like I would upload it and talk about some of my thoughts and some of the things that I have learned from watching this stream and from looking at some of the gameplay. So looking at it first, um, this is an underwater level. You know, a lot of the guys at Infinity Ward um, stated that this was going to be a huge part of the campaign. And in previous Call of Duties, we've seen guys go underwater to get to locations, maybe to get to a boat, but this is an actual underwater level and it is an environment of its own. You have gunfights, soldiers coming at you from these locations. Underwater levels are actually going to be a huge part of the campaign and less of just a, a new route to get to above ground or to where your character was originally going to be going. It's actually going to be part of the game. And obviously looking at it, it's a very beautiful environment. Infinity Ward has done a great job with this new engine and uh, the new power of the new consoles to really make this look sparkling and look really nice. And as you can see, uh, like in Super Mario 64, the fish do move out of the way. So the next video I'm going to show is some of the other features or other videos we've seen. But it's really developers talking about it. I, I have the sound cut a little bit. But if you want to go check out, um, you know, this stream in full depth, you can go on IGN.com and check it out and uh, you can get all the, you know, resources and information there. But a few things we've learned. So this mysterious biological threat um, is incorporated with a devastated environment. So it's obviously going to be very apparent throughout the game that something bad has happened to the United States, the world, etc. And uh, something else that has actually come up. The game is focused on South American oil regions where players are facing resource rich states and you would think in a you know in a time of crisis it would be those nations that have you know resources that they can sell whether that be electronics or oil so you're thinking a lot of south american and midwestern or, um, middle eastern states that have lots of petroleum those are going to be the countries that can live through crisis like this so it says the u.s fights with an enemy in the south that takes center stage in no man's land the first level of a multi-segment gameplay demo was shown in it our protagonist and his brother are making their way through a 10 mile area north of san diego now a desolate wasteland with the remains of houses and collapsed freeways so this is all really cool uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more from the E3 demo that are going to be shown off at E3. There's going to be two levels of the campaign they're going to show. I know this from previous experience. They're going to take you into a special Activision booth room. It's like a giant uh, theater uh, with about 15 or 12 or 20 seats. And uh, they show you two levels of the campaign. They tell you what's going on, and then that's it. They escort you out. You're done. So uh, that's what really goes on. It's still a really cool experience, and uh, that's one of the things I loved most about E3 was getting able to check out Black Ops 2 early. So, uh, like I said, they mentioned a little bit about uh, the Modern Warfare series, um, the developers in here. They have completely cut ties with the Modern Warfare series. The ghost mask that you see him pulling down is simply, they call it a fan service because they know how popular Ghost was and they wanted to, to keep his uh, iconic balaclava mask going around. So, uh, that's one thing that uh, they didn't want to confuse you guys with. It's just simply a fan service to the game. But as you can see on the screen right now, they talked a lot about these three new um, you know gameplay features that they added to the game this lean around wall feature the sliding feature and finally um, the uh, like hurdle over objects feature and that has been in a lot of other third and first person games way before Call of Duty the look around wall feature is a staple of games like Gears of War and even Medal of Honor Warfighter. The hurdle over objects is uh, a really big staple of Gears of War and Medal of Honor Warfighter as well. And the slide feature was very prevalent in Crisis 3. That's what, what one of the things that made Crisis 3 such a popular game because you could slide to cover and it was all about stealth tactics, etc. So uh, it'll be cool to see what uh, really goes on uh, and what we get to see from E3. This is just a sneak peek. Obviously, we're not getting all of our uh, the footage right now. They didn't want to reveal it. And, uh, Stick around tomorrow. There's going to be another uh, live stream uh, hosted by, uh, I know, I, Justine, and one other person. And uh, that's going to be happening at 9 a.m. California Pacific time. So check that out. We'll get a lot more details. But for now, guys, my name is Mr. Boss for the win. Hope you have enjoyed my analysis and coverage of the newest gameplay footage of Call of Duty Ghost. If you're new, I would encourage you guys to stick around and subscribe. I do videos like this on the daily. But again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And of course, I will talk to you guys in the next video.